Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Ooh Ah Crochet. This is Amber. Um, and I'm just coming to show you a few makes that I've done, um, a few works in progress, some of the test patterns I'm doing, and then I will go downstairs. I'll pause this and go downstairs. Um, I've got some more stitch markers made. I got a couple packages in the mail <clears throat> with beads um, to make stitch markers and to add to my supply. Um, <laughs> I had uh, some fails and some um, accomplishments, I guess, on Boy Scouts um, shirts. I guess the, the answer would be they worked for today and um, I, I will have to sew them. But anyway, you're here for yarn and not necessarily for life stuff. So let's do that first. So um, I told you before that I was working on the snow globes. And before you ask, I didn't cut my hair. It's just tucked in. <laughs> I probably should cut my hair. I mean, it really needs to be someday. It was just really crazy up top here, so I figured it would look better down than than uh, way up in a bun with all my crazy flyaways. So, anyway, here are some of them. I'll just flip through these really quick. Um, I got different kind of buttons. I got these at Walmart, the Minnie Mouse ones. <clears throat> they had little bitty kitties there. Um... I only did a few. I've got six of them, I think, or five were in a package. So I only put one in each. And then I figured out what to do with some of my um, buttons that I didn't really like. I gave Minnie a sweater. So I like that one. And then I had some um, shinier ones. Um... And then I gave a dog a sweater with a coffee, a cocoa mug, because that was one of those buttons that I didn't like, those two. So that kind of worked out okay. And this dog's got a sweater too. I think they look alright. I, I think it gives them kind of a a goofy, you know, look to them. Um, and then I gave Mi Mickey mittens, because Mickey always has his white gloves, right? So I figured that would work. And then I got a kids pack. There was a kids pack with airplanes, um, cars, and trains. And then they had a, a pack with teddy bears. So I thought those three looked good together. And then I finished um, another one with the uh, school supplies. Um, and I've got uh, three or four more all done. I just had to put the, the buttons on. But it, it takes a little bit to to put the, all the buttons on. So, those are that. Um, <clears throat> and then I finished... Oh, I guess I got to weave in one end here. But, um... There's the... Um... Jar opener thing. And I really like how that turned out with that color, um, with this color. I'm not too sure about these. Um, I probably did this one too tight, and when I pulled on it, the fabric itself, um, not my yarn, but the, the fabric itself kind of tore a little bit. You can see it right there. So it'll probably just be for me. Um, you know, I'll make sure if I do sell any that they don't have any of those flaws. Um, this was stuff I had on hand, so um, I definitely got to make sure that that they're all okay. Um, if not, they'll make good uh, gifts for my family and they won't care. They'll use them and they probably won't even look at them because... It's yarn, and it's from me, and... <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, Maya, if you're watching, hi! I miss you. 
Um, I haven't seen my nieces since the last time you guys saw them. Um, so it's been like two, three months. So they will come for Thanksgiving. It'll be a real short trip, but I won't see them for another couple months, which is super sad. Um, I am working on, no, this is nothing naughty. This is a pig head. Don't get any bad ideas. No bad ideas. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? <clears throat> no bad ideas. Two pig heads. That's what they are. <laughs> I haven't finished them yet, but I'm doing test patterns for Valerie, so I figured I would make two of each. Um, since I'm doing it and the yarn's out, why not? Um, these are going to be two uh, llama heads. And these are part of her um, farmhouse collection for Christmas trees. So they're going to be Christmas ornaments to hang on. You know, and they're about as big as a... You could go down to a 6.5 without any problems, I think. And it would make it just a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm using an 8, which is perfectly, um, I mean, it, it only came out this big, so if you use the 6.5, it would probably make it just a little bit smaller, maybe regular ball size, so. There's an option, and, and most of these patterns do work down with the worsted weight, is except for when you come to, like, your eyes, or your nose, um, or maybe even the ears, those things you would have to kind of fiddle with to downsize um, because she does use the worsted weight on the eyes um, and the nose area. So <clears throat> um, if you uh, wanted to do it in a smaller yarn, you certainly could. You would just have to maybe put safety eyes or something like that on there, which would be totally fine if it's an ornament. So anyway, working on those, um, uh, there's only like seven or eight more to do. Or, you know, 14 if you're doing two of each. <laughs> um, again, if you guys haven't signed up for um, Valerie's Patreon, or if you don't even know who Valerie is, um, I'm doing test crochets for Valerie with Old Soul Crochet. Um, I love her. I've loved her since I was her subscriber number 26. And she's at subscriber, I don't know, five, 6,000. So crazy, crazy amount of growth. Um, that woman is a champion, and she is, inspires me to do many more things than I ever thought I could. And she's got a business background, and so, and I think her husband does too, which is very helpful, especially if you're going to do your own business, right? Um, I'm going to see if I can find this pattern show you. For those of you that didn't see it last time. If I can find it really quick here, we, these are the, all the little heads I'm going to be working on. So there's a horse and a sheep and a llama and a pig, a donkey, um, a goat, a cow and the, um, alpaca. So I'm really excited about the cow, um, the color, uh, the coloring, I think, will be challenging, but I'm up for a good challenge, so, um, what else? Oh, I drew a winner for, um, Made by Marsha's Mom, Marsha, uh, it was doing a drawing for me, because she's, out of the goodness of her heart, um, wanted to do a drawing to help me out, to get more people to my Etsy shop and to help me out for pre-orders and different things. And um, the winner of that uh, was Kim of uh, Kim's Crafty Corner. Um, I think it's uh, Kimberly Nolan, I think is how you pronounce the last name. And um, I'm super excited that she won. She just recently hurt herself. She hurt her shoulder. So I'm sure she could use some some good thoughts and some some fun happy meal. Um, so Kimberly, uh, if you're watching this or when you watch this, make sure you get a hold of me so I can get your address so I can give it to 
Marsha so she can mail you your Happy Meal. Um, and if you're not familiar with that, it was for the uh, stitch marker case that uh, Made by Marsha Mom made or makes. Um, if you guys check her out, uh, watch some of her videos, if you're interested in any of your product, you know, she can, you can PayPal her or Facebook her um, a payment and she can get that mailed out to you. She does all kinds of stuff with her circuit or cricket. I always call it a circuit cricket like my mom does. Um, but hers is a little bit more fancier than my mom's. So, um, and I'm sure she could use some business if you guys want to check her out. Um, that would make me very happy. Um, and then if you haven't already, Ella released like all of her, her bags that she's doing pre-Christmas. So everything that is up in her shop right now is what she has in her shop until the end of the year. She's, she's done so. <laughs> well, at least she says she is. Um, but anyway, check her, check what's left in her shop. I know Randy's got some things in her shop you can check. Um, I know there's several other uh, YouTubers out there that have Etsy shops that have stuff in them. It's Christmas time and I know that um, after I pause this video I will go downstairs and I will show you the box that I got from um, Lizzie's Love Lovies. Sorry Liz, let me uh, make sure I got that right here. I got my computer right in front of me. Um, Lizzie's Lovies, yep. Yeah, she's got a YouTube channel too, and so I will link that down below. I'll try to link everybody. If I forget somebody, remind me. But um, check those guys out. Uh, I know, you know, Black Friday and all that kind of stuff is coming up, and I know I'm sure all of us would like to go do some shopping. But anyway, I will um, pause this. I'll go downstairs. You'll change scenery and lightning, but. Um, It'll only take me a second, so I'll be back. All right, let's see how it works from back there. You're balanced um, vicariously on a, on a section here. So um, I got this box from, from Lizzie. So funny, I, I had said that I couldn't find um, the fox and... Um, Fox and Owl Beads, and she's like, <clears throat> she sent me an email, and she said, well, I'll look for you, you know, I live right by Joanne's, and I'm like, you silly, I said, they're for you, they're the ones I was looking for, for you, <laughs> so funny, so funny, um, but, uh, anyway, so she went, and she looked for her own beads, which is super sweet, um, but I'll show you what else she got in here. I did open it up because I I needed it. I needed the the Happy Meal vibe. So these oh penguins penguins are what they were not owls. But Joanne's has every once in a while they have different beads that other places just do not have and. Um, I looked online and I looked in store and nobody had beads, but I, I looked on Joann's and of course they did. So, oh, and funny enough, which I told Terry and, um, Ella that I bought to put my Joann's 10% back on, but there's no way to redeem it. I bought it doesn't show up as a redeemable, um, or Joann's doesn't show up as a redeemable store in my Ibotta. But it shows up as a, as a, um, as an icon or as a thing. <laughs> Which I guess really doesn't matter because I don't have a Joann's. So. Anywho, it was in Terry's, so hopefully it's, she can redeem it. Um, she sent me two of these, which I've never had before. They're 100% acrylic, uh, 270 yards, 3 ounces, um, a 4 weight worsted, medium worsted, um, an H hook. Um, it 
super soft. Yeah, it's super soft. And I love it. It's like a blue, it's almost like a denim color. It says full moon. Ooh, I like it. Look at that. That's pretty. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> um, and would you guys believe I'm just now getting back my voice and just now, um, the last two days, I've been able to um, cough without peeing, which is an accomplishment, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> and I can actually lay down in bed without having the urge to cough my guts out. So, um... Yeah, two and a half weeks later, I'm finally getting getting better. Um, there's these. They say, uh, create, dream, inspire, journey, imagine, and success. And then some um, hand, let's see, made with love charms. Sorry about the glare on that. She sent me a, a card that says I'm wonderful. Of course I am. No, I'm not. But I pre I appreciate I appreciate you guys so much and I love this. When she sent this, I, I kinda giggled. I'm like, this is perfect. <laughs> um, if you have watched my channel before, um I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but I'm a huge charmed fan. And I don't know if I can even get it out. If you can see that, that is the Triquetra, which is also the symbol that is on Charmed, the show. It's on the book of spells that the girls use. Um, it also means uh, mother, daughter, crone, um, father, son, and holy spirit. So it's got all kinds of different meanings and all kinds of different religions um, and Wiccan too. And so <laughs> when she put that in there, I thought that was really cute. And she said I could use it to write down my um, uh, patterns and stuff, which is great. I love it. So there's some more stuff in here. Some pumpkin beads. And I did ask her if she found any of these to pick some up because I was running low on the eye hook beads. Um, and these are really pretty. Some different kind of beads. I don't have those colors, believe it or not. And then a set of blue, a kind of blue, blue gold silver, or blue gold. They're like a blue, a dark blue, and a light blue with a gold and a black. And then I have a set of these, but I'm glad I have another one. Um, people were asking for octopus charms and this is the set that it comes with with crabs and your starfish so, and turtles it's got turtles in there too and then I got a little crochet it says um, crochet stores on it and it's a little tape measure and then it I never get anything like this kind of stuff a wood wick Crackles as it burns. That's really super cool. Oh my gosh. It says um, coastal sunset. If you guys had smell vision, you'd be in heaven right now. And then this one is cinnamon chai. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I will <clears throat> work on your stitch markers and get them out as soon as possible. And then, um, Sherry actually sent me some two almost didn't know it was her because the box really didn't say anything <laughs> so she sent me some different charms so this is a different version on the like the angel ones so you can buy them already pre-made um, the ones that I've been making I've been just making them um, I just get the angel part the wings and my wings look different than these but um and then I kind of put the the head and the other bead together 
And she sent me pumpkins too. Um, and then she sent me, I guess they're, I guess they're supposed to mimic yarn balls. Um, my only comment on those is that they're hard to place. So like if you're trying to, I suppose if you had string and a needle, it would be different than having, um, like a jewelry finding and putting them through. Um, I made it work, but, and they're, <clears throat> they're not really heavy. If you had them all on a string, they would be heavy, but by themselves, they're not, not as heavy as say the pumpkin would be. Um, I think the pumpkins would be heavy and even the foxes and the, um, the penguins might be heavy, but I'll try to make them as light as possible. You know, the less beads, the better. Um, and then if you use the lever back, uh, jewelry findings. So this is the lever back. It opens up like that. It's focusing on my face. Sorry. But anyway, um, these are super light. <clears throat> I do have lobster clasps, but the ones that I just bought were super huge. I mean, they're bigger. I figured the bigger, the better, but they're heavy and their um, circle opening is really thick. So you really have to be careful of what you attach to that one too, because it's going to make it heavier. So on that note, um, what else? Oh, goodness. My chair's about ready to flip over. <laughs> I have um, this cabinet back here up on wood um, wood boards, and so my chair is actually stuck on a wood board back there. But I did get, I was trying to help one of my girlfriends out, and um, it was probably like six to eight weeks ago when I had money. Um, I bought uh, two of these. So they're super tiny bags, super, super tiny bags. I guess they pull that way. Um, I wouldn't even say they're cloth. <laughs> I guess they're a cloth. I don't know how to describe them. Um, they look, <laughs> they look like dryer sheet fabric, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, they were, it was like. $15 for all four bags so but I got some with llamas on them so somebody will get a llama bag I think they'd still work for a small ba ball of yarn the closure is a little tricky I guess because it only goes from one side but I don't know not ripping I wouldn't put too much weight in there I suppose but so I got those. That was what I pulled out of the box right away. Um, so, what else? I was going to show you this too. I picked this up at the craft fair. The one that mom and I were just at. Um, they have some ladies that just donate their items to the church to sell. And unfortunately this year they didn't do very well because there was other craft fairs. Um, and so it just didn't work out. But this was... a this was a scissor holder. It's made out of felt. Um, and it's, it appears to be sewn by a machine. It looks like, um, I guess I'm not really sure how the scissors goes in there. And maybe a smaller scissors would work better, but I guess that's how. And then you can hang it up. So mom and I saw those and thought it was really cute. And for a dollar, we, we each got one. Um, there's that. This is just all laying on my desk, you guys. My my craft room, I can't even show you. It is a horrible, horrible mess. Horrible mess. And I haven't had time to clean. We've been doing all kinds of stuff. I'm going to insert some pictures in here um, so you guys can see. So different life update things. We did carpet last Saturday, and I'll show you all that. Um, whew, it took a, took a whole Saturday. It was, 
it was a workout, let me tell you. Um, I am going to show you uh, some of the recent uh, stitch markers I made. And I'll try to get better pictures. I'm so sorry that my pictures aren't very good. I get in a hurry when I start these things and then I just... Um, I put them up there and I, I think, okay, that's good. Because they look good on my end, but I know that they're not the best quality. Um, the, this is a Christmas set. It's got different um, Christmas charms. So four all the way up through eight. Um, just different Christmas charms on there. And again, I'll try to take a better picture. It's just got different beads with it. And then I made a purple set because I know you guys all like purple. <laughs> this one just goes from 4 to 6.5. Again, there's Christmas charms on there. Santa Claus and stars and holly and different things. Um, what else did I work on? Is that what I work on? Oh. Kind of. <clears throat> Trying to keep them all together, but I'm gonna get lost in my mess here. Um, this one, oops, sorry, this is a rainbow set with a little. It's got red, red, gold, green, and blue, um, and then it's got little kid charms on there. So there's a teddy bear. There's a like a Hello Kitty f figure playing tennis. Um, a little girl, a little boy, um, two kids together, and then a little baby buggy. So, there's that kit, or that set, it's got, um, G through L, so there's six of them. Um, and those have smaller lobster clasps, like they're super tiny, so these are, like, way light, way, way light. So, I think that's all I have. Um, oh, I do have two bags left. Um, I did close down the, the shop part. So there's like, there's no bag, vinyl bags in my shop. But I have these two bags. So I have, this is one of the original ones I showed. Um, it's black. This is about 11 or 12. 11 and a half inches wide. Um, it says I uh, hooking takes balls. <clears throat> and this one is uh, Mad Hooker with the purple vinyl on the red um, bag. These are the only two I have left. Um, we're not going to do some do them for a while. Um, the Dollar Tree, when I went back to look for bags, and like I said, I went to like Target and different places for just those little pencil case bags, um, they actually made them smaller. I took uh, one that I had, and they were like an inch smaller, on, or about an inch smaller all the way around. I was like, <laughs> and they do that. They'll bring a product in, they'll sell a whole bunch of them, and then the next time they bring a product in, it'll, it will be smaller. So, I don't know. You just, you just gotta kind of watch out for that. Even the food stuff that they bring in, they do the same thing. So, just an FYI in case you go to the Dollar Tree. Again, I love my Dollar Tree. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, I think that's it for now. So, Kimberly, make sure you get a hold of me. Um, everybody's orders that I have, except for these two ladies that I'm doing stitch markers for and the Amigurumi, um, Everybody else's art should be out. And you should receive them this week if you haven't already received them. And, oh, okay, so life update. So, um, last night I attempted to hand sew the boys' badges onto their their shirts for Boy Scouts. Of course, last minute, I, could, I had two weeks, three weeks to do it. Did I do it? No, I waited until last minute because that's my personality, that's who I am. Um, but I did go to bed at 8 o'clock. For some reason, I've been just getting tired at 8, and my body says go to bed. But then I wake up at 1, 
which still means I got five solid hours of sleep, which is more than I get on a normal night. Um, <clears throat> but then I woke up and I'm like, okay, I got to get these done. So I started to hand sew and my yarn because I, or my, my string, my thread that I had, I wanted to double thread it. It just kept getting knotted up in the back, probably because I had my string too long, but I wanted it long enough to go through the whole piece. Yeah. It became a nightmare and it was, the patches are super thick and the shirts themselves are super thick. And so even with my pliers, to try to weave it in and out, it was still getting knotted up, so I was like, whatever. Pulled out the iron and tried to iron them on. Um, I did watch another Boy Scout or a Girl Scout dad iron theirs on to the sash, and I, I mean, in theory, they should be able to be ironed on, but I still think you have to tack them down, so I'm going to retack them because as soon as Michael put his on and got to Boy Scout, he stuck his finger right underneath the central patch above his um, chest. I'm like, don't put your finger there. I said, you're going to rip that off. Don't do that. So don't touch them. <laughs> like it's his fault. It's not his fault. It's my fault because I didn't do it right. As my dad would say, you always take the hard way and you always do things the hard way instead of the right way, which would have been to take my time, get my sewing machine out, do it two weeks beforehand, and figure out how to sew them on the right way instead of trying to take a shortcut. Um, but even ironing them on, it took forever for it to stick. Um, Jacob's shirt, I think, is good. It was Michael's shirt that just did not seem to... And it could have been just those set of badges. Maybe they didn't have enough glue on the back. Um, if you have any tips on certain glues that will work for fabric, like a specific glue that I can go pick up, that I can try ironing out a lot again, um, or even just gluing it down, I don't know. I'll still try to tack them down. <laughs> you should have seen them. I was going to take pictures and I totally forgot. And going to Boy Scouts stresses me out, so I forgot to take pictures. But... Jacob's shirt goes down to his knees because I got him both a size medium. <laughs> it looked like he was wearing a night shirt. <laughs> a really, really nice night shirt, but he, he was swimming in it, which he didn't care. He was so excited. You guys, I'm so thankful for all of you. All of you for helping out to help me get those Boy Scout stuff. Um, yeah, they were so excited to have their new shirts on, and then they asked where their handkerchiefs were, and then they asked where their hats were, and I'm like, I did not get them. You don't need them. We didn't get them. I don't know. Well, well, I did have somebody reach out and said that they would help me get them, and so I haven't had a chance to email her back. I haven't had a chance to email hardly anybody back, because I just been, I haven't been on my computer. I just... I sit in my chair and I'm so tired that I don't know I just like I crochet but I'm not really crocheting either I'm like just <laughs> staring off into the distance watching who God knows what but it'll be a half an hour hour pass and I won't even know where the time went because I was just that tired that I was just like Ugh. the kids are not fighting and the house isn't burning down so anyway that all to say that I was tired and I just didn't do much. <laughs> when you're not feeling, F, you know, 100%, you just, yeah. So anyway, I will um, try to get those couple sets of stitch markers up in the shop. If you're interested in those, you can let me know. Um, I'm trying to think what else. that's it so anyway um we'll talk to you guys soon we are at 916 right now for subscribers and hopefully we can get to uh a thousand before the end of november that would be super fantastic and then we can have a big drawing um other than that 
Hopefully you guys are getting Christmas stuff done. I regret not getting Christmas stuff done sooner. When they tell you, when they tell you, when somebody asks in January, when do you start making stuff for Christmas? You start then. Don't start in October. Don't start in August. Start in January. Especially if you're going to make presents for your family and then also do craft fairs. Start in January. <laughs> start the day after Christmas. <laughs> and if you have totes and totes and totes some more, yes, Kim, I'm talking to you, tell Paul to get over it and say, hey, I'm making stuff and it's selling. <laughs> It will eventually sell. It does eventually sell. I haven't had really anything I've had for more than a year. So make it ahead of time. Make your Christmas presents ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I will let you go. I've rambled on enough. And I'm going to add some more pictures so it'll even be longer. But take care. Again, um, check out uh, Randy and Ella and Made by Marsha and Liz, Lizzie. Lizzie's Lovies, um, Sherry, if she has a, a YouTube, I'll put her down there, and um, Kim the Crafty, Kim's Crafty Corner, I'll put her in there too, but she won, she won, sorry I'm pointing, um, she's the one that win Made by Martian Mom's Drawing, so check all those out, They're down, they'll be down in the description, and I will try to get it some good pictures of these stitch markers up for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.